Hey everybody and welcome back to the channel. Today I'm going to be talking to you about my New Balance Trail Runners. And if you stick around toward the end, I'll show you how to tie your shoes to prevent blisters on the trail. Please click like and subscribe to join my hiking family. When I first got back into hiking, I started looking for a new pair of hiking boots. In my internet searches for them, I came across reports that claimed that the heavier the boot, the harder the hike and the harder it was on your body. Some reports claimed that every pound on your foot equaled five pounds on your back. Others claimed that every pound on your foot was equivalent to 10 pounds on your back. Whatever the case, the heavier the boot, the harder it was on your body. It made it a harder hike and it's harder on your joints. So I started looking into trail runners and I found the New Balance. Now my model is the MT690 LG2 as shown here. And this is the picture you're going to want to look at because when I show you a close-up of my shoes later, I wanted you to see that they actually can look clean and pretty. Mine are covered in muck, they've got a lot of miles on them. Uh, but I love these shoes. Uh, I've worn them every hike I've taken, um, countless hikes now. I can't even remember how many miles I've taken. But they're holding up well, and when I do need another pair, I will certainly look at getting another pair of these New Balance hikers. Some of the reports that I read went into greater detail about how trail runners are better for your joints than hiking boots are. Now, most hiking boots come up over the ankle to secure the ankle, hold it in place to help prevent it from twisting and getting sprained. So there's a benefit there, but that can also be a drawback because out of on your leg, your ankle is meant to twist your knee only goes one direction. It goes forward and goes back. Your ankle has much more motility to it. So if you prevent your ankle from rolling, that motion, that movement can carry up and cause your knee to twist. So it's better to allow your ankle full range of motion with a shoe per these reports than it is to immobilize it. And having spent a lot of time on uneven ground in Florida, uh, in mountains in Utah, on the Appalachian Trail, I can tell you that I don't think I've gotten as much discomfort wearing trail runners as I ever did wearing hiking boots. I do remember sore joints, specifically sore knees and hips at the end of long hiking trips uh, when I was wearing hiking boots. So I believe that the trail runners do actually make for a better hike and a safer hike. That's my own personal belief. Do your own research, of course. But from what I've seen from the reports and from my own experiences, I believe this to be true. I believe trail runners are better for your body and they're a more comfortable hike. They allow your foot to flex more. There's more cushion. Um, they breathe better. If they get wet, they dry out quickly. So I'm sold on trail runners. Like I said, when the day comes and this pair is no longer, because generally speaking, shoes only have a certain number of miles in them before they're no good anymore. When that day comes, I will certainly look at getting another pair of New Balance trail runners. So now let's get into me showing you how to tie your shoes to prevent getting blisters on the trail. So here are my filthy, nasty, wonderful New Balance Trail Runners. They've got a lot of miles on them. In fact, just hiking out here to film this video, uh, they became submerged quite a few times. And yes, these are my Showers Pass waterproof socks. I never hike in Florida without them. But uh, yeah, this is the reason that I'm showing you nice pictures because <laughs> these shoes have seen some miles. Anyway, so let's get at it. Have you ever wondered what this extra hole is for? It always seems to be more in the way than anything, right? Most people ignore it. Well, 
this is here so that you can tie your shoes properly to prevent blisters in hiking, walking, you know, just general use. It's called the heel lock tie, and that's what I'm going to show you. So what you do is you want to cinch down your shoes, of course. Then you take this lace on this side and go back under through that extra hole. And you want to do that on both sides. So now you've got your laces coming back through the middle and two loops on the sides. Then all you do is you take this one and run it through this loop. And this one goes through this loop. Now you gently cinch them up and then you'll want to tighten this top cross by pulling gently on the loops. Then to finish the tie you pull away from your toe down and then you just tie your shoe as regular. Tying your shoes this way does not allow your heel motion. It literally lives up to its name, the heel lock. It locks your shoe in place. It prevents your toe from, from moving back and forth, so it helps prevent toe slam, and it prevents the heel from lifting. I've never had blisters in these shoes. So there you have it. That's the simple heel lock tie. If you never take anything else away from any of my videos, please take that away because it'll save you discomfort, whatever you do down the road. Well, I hope you found my video on my New Balance Trail Runners and how to tie them helpful. If you did, please be sure to click like. And if you subscribe, you can stay up to date with all my latest videos. Do you have experiences with trail runners versus hiking boots? If so, leave a comment below. If you have any other questions or comments, please send an email to trailnameace at gmail.com. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time. Be sure to visit trailnameace.com to find links to products I've reviewed. Thanks for watching, and keep hiking!